guys, it's me, Brittany, aka Mint Medium, Friendly Neighborhood Medium. Uh, so I'm coming today with your week at a glance. Um, I don't know about the rest of you, but I had actually did have some hard decisions to make this past week. Um, I think we are all going through that stage. Um, I think it's something to do with the planetary alignments or something. I don't know what it is. Um, I took an astronomy class once and it was at nighttime and I fell asleep every class period. <laughs> it was, in my defense, I was pretty new to the whole college thing, so. Um, but anyway, so I hope everybody made the successful decisions. Um, mine wasn't relationship. Um, oriented or work oriented or anything like that. It well, it was work kind of. Um, I had received a message that it was really hard for me to deliver because I don't really like to deliver messages to people who I don't know. Um, it's hard for me. I'm still getting used to the whole being comfortable in my own skin thing. Um, so there is that. I mean, when people ask me for readings, that's, they know what I am, but to just tell a stranger, hey, I'm a medium, and this is, this person's coming through for you, and this is the message, it's really kind of hard to do, because a lot of people think you're crazy, or you have a brain tumor or something. Um, I, I don't have a tumor. Um, I am crazy, but not like that crazy. <laughs> like, let's hope not anyway. Um, the reason why I'm just kind of rambling on is I'm sh still shuffling the deck. Um, we've got three cards so far for this week. Um, so, my gut feeling for this week, to be completely honest with you, is it's going to be a shit show can't tell you why, but it just, it's going to be. Um, I don't know if that's just my personal week that's going to be like that. Or, <laughs> or if it's going to be all of us. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Okay, I'll take that one. It's kind of hard to explain as to why I feel that way. It's just a feeling in my, the pit of my stomach. Um, I kind of woke up feeling like that. Um, and I've had all of this restless energy all day. Um, I woke up at 9 a.m., take my dog out and all that fun stuff. And then, um, I sat and I made up some salves. My containers came in, so I can actually put them in containers now. Um, but I've just kind of been doing busy work all day. I made... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that's a whole lot of information right there. So let's begin, shall we? I don't know about you guys, but I'm already ready for Sunday. I'm already ready for Saturday. Next weekend. Already ready for next Saturday. start out the week, boom, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is the Animal Wise Tarot, by the way, so it's technically the Seven of uh, four legged. Okay, it's a rabbit. Boop, boop. Um, either way you look at it, it's telling us to use proper cycles. We have to use proper cycles. 
what that means is don't harvest something before it's ready. Um, don't pick, don't cut that avocado until it's ripe, right? And don't, don't eat that banana when it's still green, it's still kind of bitter, right? Um, with the seven of pentacles, we need to be sure that we use, are using proper cycles the right way, uh, are using the cycles in a proper way. Um, we have cycles in our day-to-day -day lives. Every sun. So the sun comes up, the sun goes down, the moon comes up, the moon goes down, stars come out, clouds, whatever, you know, however you want to look at it. Um, you need to make sure that whatever cycle it is that you are repeating, that you learn from it. Um, and I'm not talking about vicious cycles. I'm talking about like your day-to-day -day routines, okay? Um, so you need to make sure that in these routines you're not really rocking the boat. That being said, um, with this routine, with these cycles, don't jump the gun. Um, stick closely to that, that routine, especially this week. Um, if you try to harvest something before it's ripe, then it's just not going to turn out. Um, again, I'm going back to fruits and vegetables. Um, like, you wouldn't just take a green strawberry this big off the vine unless it was supposed to be like that, right? No, you're supposed to wait for it to ripen up. You're supposed to wait for it to fully mature and bloom before you pick it. There it is. Don't pick it too soon. Oh no, we have a lag. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> We're good now. Um, so the next card we have is the Fool. The Fool tells us that we are walking a very thin line between wisdom and foolishness. Sorry. It's a bad habit. That's how I know that this week's going to be a shit show. I've been biting my nails all day. It's horrible. It's a horrible anxiety thing, too. So like, that's, that's how I know that this week's going to be hell. Um, so we need to walk this line very finely. We need to start. There it is. We need to start on this journey, whatever one that we are on the precipice of. There's that word again. I don't know if I'm using, even using it correctly. We need to actually start the journey, okay? We've been talking about it for a while, all right? We've been talking about it. We've been blustering ourselves up, I'm trying to sound smarter than I actually am. I'm pretty smart, but I didn't do well in grammar class. Let's just put that out there. Um, so with that being said, sorry, I'm still picking my nails. Um, we need to actually start the journey. Okay, we need to walk the walk that we've been talking. Okay, we need to put actual action behind our words. This is the week to do that. Um, while we are walking this walk, we still have to be mindful of the cycles. Okay, if it's not time for us to be like, hey, deuces, I'm out, like, don't do that. That's, I'm not telling you to go out and quit your job because that's not what I'm trying to say at all. Um, I'm saying be wise about it. Um, if you want to start something, um, then make sure that you have enough time and energy to do so. Um, for some reason, like starting your own band or whatever or record company came to mind. Like if you're going to do that, make sure that you do that after your 9 to 5 every day okay you have to have um you have to have that income for some reason it's really really about income today um don't just drop your job okay you become homeless you have to live in the shelter or mission or a tent or something like make sure your bills are paid i'm not saying don't follow your dream i'm just saying do it wisely okay talk that talk but you're gonna walk that walk but make sure that you do it wisely and you have the ability to actually pay your bills and eat and shower because personal hygiene is pretty important. The next card we have is the lover's card. Yeah, I 
feel like this deck is stacked against me today. This one is telling about spiritual choice. It's telling about spirituality. It's talking about the soul. It's talking about soulmates this week. Okay, so not only are we using proper cycles, okay, we're like, okay, I'm going to go to my nine to five job and then after I do that, I'm going to work on my own personal business so that I can start growing that, right? So I can become a better person, so I can actually follow my dreams and be fruitful with this, right? Yeah. No. Bam. The universe is like, hey, let me mix that up for you. You seem to have a plan. So bam, we're throwing a soulmate into the mix because that's always a fun time. And this isn't going to be like somebody who's super easily accessible or accepting or... What is the free, accessible, open? And I don't mean open relationships. That's disgusting. Keep your shit to yourselves. Okay, that's that's how diseases happen. I know, Benny. There's there's ways to prevent that. Just if you're in a monogamous relationship, stay in a monogamous relationship. Seriously, it's for everybody's sake. Anyway, just be aware of that one. Because that one's going to hit you like a shit ton of bricks. Shit ton of bricks. I can't even say it because it's got me all messed up. Bam. The next one. The chariot card. Ooh. We're on a teeter-totter. Okay. That's what this one is. It's a teeter-totter. I see standing in the middle of a teeter-totter trying to figure out which way to go, right? We're trying to stay balanced so we don't fall off one way or the other, right? We're trying to decide between... Should we can oh no. I don't like that. Okay. So you're wondering, Brittany, what did they just tell you? Well, I'll let me let you in on a little secret. This person that the universe is throwing into the mix here, the way the reason why you're trying to stay balanced is because they don't believe you. They don't support you. They don't understand you. Maybe they don't understand why you want to start your own band. Maybe they don't want to. They don't understand why you're trying to start your own recording label or your own fashion company or your own accounting business. They don't understand that. They're like, "Why you have a you have a good job? Why would you want to mess that up? Why would you want to spend more energy on that and then not spend energy on me?" Right. This is what I'm seeing. So there is a lot of forward mo momentum here with the cherry card and the lover's card right next to each other but we really need to be careful guys okay because i did a draw for myself earlier just a pre we get a glance and they said there was going to be a lot of oppression for us this week because that reading wasn't just for me it was for us okay because i wanted to see which cards i should use this is pretty much the same thing just a little more in depth because i'm still learning those cards yeah Anyway, we have a lot of oppression coming this week, okay? We have a lot of negativity, not really negativity, just not positivity coming our way. It's kind of neutral. They're, they're on the fence, right? So we are moving forward, and we are trying to stay balanced between this stupid soulmate business and try, trying to follow our dreams, okay? Because we have dreams. I'm trying to start my own business. Yeah, does not mean I'm going to go out and quit my job? No! I need some income so I'm staying with that I'm doing all of my business stuff on the side on the weekends after work so I'm balancing it <sighs> nobody's gonna try to unbalance me that's all I got to say we need to make sure that whoever we accept in our lives this person that's coming in that we don't let them sway us away from this that's a big thing because another card that was pulled was weak-willed. Um, most of you who know me know that's true. Unless I'm really passionate about something, I will just go with the flow. I'm not a very confrontational person, even for a Taurus. Like, it's weird. But when I have, like, my heart set on something or 
I'm really sure it's what I want something I want to do I will dig my heels in and you will have one hell of a fight on your hands so that's what we need to remember this week okay don't worry we're not done BAM right after the chariot card we have the Queen of Wands she's a very primal creature she's very primal strength she also represents creation so just be careful this week don't get pregnant don't get somebody pregnant that's what that creation's coming forward at me as also we need to with that creation part not only am I seeing babies just be careful unless you're trying just be careful um we're trying to create something out of nothing, right? So we're trying to create something from us. We're not nothing. That's not what I mean. We're trying to create something out of thin air, right? We're trying to make whatever we do a business. We're trying to actually make money off of this. We're trying to make income, right? Make sure you follow the proper procedures. Oh, follow proper cycles. Boom. Make sure you go through the steps. Okay. Make sure you do that right. Um, with the primal strength of this queen, however, we need to realize that whatever we put our minds to, we will achieve. If you truly want something, then achieve it. You can do it. Just make sure you achieve it. Just don't falter on your dreams because of whoever's coming into your life. The next one we have is the Nine of Swords. 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 He's a loon, and so am I. <laughs> no, seriously, it's a loon. Not crazy told you that. Well, I am crazy, but that's a different kind of crazy. Um, the loon tells us, however, of answers in our dreams, hopes in our dreams. So we might have the answers already inside of us. We might have the answer already made up in our mind, and we are really just not sure. Pay attention to your dreams this week, um, because your subconscious will definitely tell you what you already think. You're already thinking. Okay, so if you're on the fence about two things, like you're at a crossroads or whatever, uh, flip a coin. You're like, Brittany, no, I'm supposed to already know. Well, yeah, you will know because whatever that lands on, you'll either, like, heads or tails it. Like, heads one side, I'll do this. Tails, uh, the other side, I'll do this. Okay, whatever that lands on, you're either going to be happy or disappointed. All right? Just because you flipped a coin doesn't mean you have to go with that. Okay, if you're going, if you're disappointed with the outcome, go with the opposite, opposite one. Because obviously, you weren't wanting to do that in the first place. S super simple. It's yes or no. Okay, so should I do this? Yes or no. Bloop. And then if you're happy with that answer, okay. Otherwise, sorry. <laughs> There's clouds going over the sun. Um, otherwise, go with the, other, the one that makes you happy. Okay, if you think you're on the fence, just flip going. Otherwise, pay attention to your dreams this week, okay? Um, because hopes, not just answers are going to be in our dreams, but what we are hoping for the future will also be there. Um, and I know sometimes dreams can be construed and crazy and dreamscape-ish. Trust me, I know. Um, but you really need to pay attention to those. Um, I would suggest keeping a notebook and a pen handy. I know I've said this before, um, but certain answers can be found in our dreams. Certain hopes can be found in our dreams. Um, I didn't realize that I wanted to just kind of live a simple life until I had a dream about it one night, and it was a super simple life. And it, was, it wasn't perfect, because no life is perfect, right? But it was a simpler environment. It was a simple everything. And that really appealed to me. So that's what I'm trying to work towards. Um, in that same dream, I was doing readings for a living. I was helping people for a living. I was helping people heal. So that's what I'm working towards. Um, so don't let anybody tell you that your dreams are, oh, it's just a dream. Sometimes it's just a dream. Sometimes it's just a nightmare. But other times it's actually your subconscious and the powers that be coming into us saying, hey, this is what you actually want. This is the clarity you've asked for. This is how you need to achieve it. Work for it. Do it. Okay. Oh well, isn't that just fun? The next one is the seven or the nine of pentacles. Boop, 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 boop. We started with the seven of pentacles. Now we're at the nine. 
So this tells me that this week we are going to go at least two steps forward, right? Because the seven, eight, and nine, boom. <laughs> also, it tells us that we have to actually work for our dreams, like I just said, right? This is a beaver, by the way. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Um, so we really need to work for it. It's going to be exhausting, and it's going to be hard work. But if this is truly something that you want, then go for it. Make it happen. Um, just be smart about it. Okay? Um, nothing is given to us unless we work for it. Oh, that's okay. If you want to win the lottery, you have to play it, right? So you have to actually work for that, too. Um, there are a couple people in this world that are the exceptions, but, um, anything that is worth having, we've had to work for, right? So don't be afraid to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty because that's what you're going to have to do. That's what I'm going to have to do. That's what we are having to do right now, right? So we need to be aware that we are moving forward, but we're going to have to work for that forward momentum, okay? Because remember the chariot, we're, we're moving and we're trying to stay balanced, but we have to work for it. Now the last card we have is the Eight of Wands, which is a rat snake. Snake. Ooh, I'm a snake. Has anybody ever seen that video on Facebook or YouTube? I think it is. It's so funny. I love it. Um, anyway, the Eight of Wands tells us of acceleration and movement so we are going forward okay we are using the proper cycles we are using the cycles properly we are starting to walk the walk we are moving forward okay we are no longer stuck where we're at and we are going forth right so just remember to keep that acceleration going okay don't stop it don't stop that movement keep working for what you want and you'll receive it don't let this one just get in your way. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Sorry. Sometimes I argue with angels. I don't, I don't usually win. <laughs> but I talk back. I'm a sassy little one. I'll tell you what. Anyway, um, they think it's funny, by the way. I hear you cackling over there. Hush. Anyway, I love you guys. That's your week at a glance. Have a great week amongst this shitstorm. Keep, keep on pushing through. If you need me, I'm here. You know how to get a hold of me. Call me. Leave a voicemail. Text me. Put your name in there. Um, message me. I'm pretty sure if you've messaged me on Facebook, then your name's already involved in that. Just keep going. Keep pushing along, okay? Be a little turn that could. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Or it was in a steamboat. I don't know. It was a little train or a little steamboat. I don't know. I'm sure one of you know. Anyway, I love you guys. Have a great night and a great week. <sighs> it's going to be a doozy. Keep your heads on. Don't hurt anybody. I love you all. Bye.